Chairman, I would like to introduce Mr Philip Sweeney, who is a proxy holder. Uh, yes, thank you, Chairman, again. Uh, this is a question perhaps not just to Genevieve, but to all the directors. Um, we recall, uh, I think, uh, one of the senior executives was once told to uh, temper their sense of justice by a former CEO uh, when they sought to bring bad news to, to the board. So the question is, to all the directors, is how confident they are that they actually know what's going on in a very large organisation and that they're only getting sort of uh, good news filtered up uh, and the bad news is still being sort of kept down below. So just a general comment and not just for Genevieve but for all the directors. Thank you. Um, uh, I can assure you, Mr Sweeney, um, we've just been through um, three days of board meeting and uh, I can um, confirm that there is no hesitance on the part of uh, any of our executives to bring forward the issues that they're seeing in their business. And I did mention the non-financial risk committee that management has, and that has provided um, a much more line of, much greater line of sight from the board to the various issues in relation to our processes and policies and, and compliance in the business. So we see that uh, in a very structured way and also in an informal way because you need the mix of the two. Um, and then, of course, the, the reporting on the actual performance of the business uh, outside of the sort of engine room, if you like, but actually in terms of our, our customers and those issues are, as I've already said at this meeting, very clearly reported to the board. So um, I don't, uh, I certainly don't think, and, and I know the board doesn't have a concern that it won't hear the bad news and that it won't hear the bad news before it hears the good news. Sorry, can we just get microphone two back on sorry, quickly? Sorry. But uh, is, is, it, is there like a well-defined um, ethos in the organisation that if you hide bad news from the board that you, you, you'll suffer the consequences or is it sort of um, you know, just um, you know, like a motherhood statement? No, no, it's absolutely unacceptable uh, in our culture and as reflected in the, the code of conduct and the need to speak up and escalate, um, it's absolutely mandatory that bad news gets reported. So there's, there's no tolerance for any cover-up should it happen. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Thank you.